welcome to today's video where we are going to be doing um, a photo walk through Queenstown um, around the main uh, centre and the main areas. Um, I'll be shooting on the Canon R6 um, with the Sigma 35mm, uh, the 1.4 lens for most of it. However, um, I do believe um, we might use the 24105 for some of the long exposure shots that I plan on doing, but maybe, maybe not. Um, as always, please um, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy it and uh, to click the subscribe button and the bell notifications because that really helps me as a channel. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, let's get right into it. Welcome to the Queenstown edition of Photo Walk. Now I'm not there, it's completely covered in fog along with a lot of this. roadworks in Queenstown at the moment all through the city centre but the Mount Remarkables back there is absolutely incredible <laughs> the iconic Ferg Burger Let's see what we can do with this actually Set this up. That's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Anything? There's a cool little beer and wings place. <laughs> up there and then you got the main street which are all pretty much going through roadworks at the moment so not a whole lot to photograph around here what I couldn't believe is that they have a casino here which is pretty incredible Very cute. Can frame that better. Guy called Singing Shepherd. He's adorable. I need a better shot at this. <laughs> 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 
adorable. So, so, so cute. I'm guessing this is like the main sort of area in Queenstown. Oh, these are pretty cool. That's just a photo to show you what they are. They're like watercraft that can be submerged and like they operate like a jet in the way that they can do aileron rolls and that sort of thing in the water and they can jump up and stuff. They're really cool. They've been around for I know, a couple, at least a couple of years now, but Queenstown being the adventure capital of the world that it is, bound to find, find them here and they are pretty epic. This building is kind of cool actually. That's kind of epic. New Zealand is such a mix of like older houses and just brand new properties that have like been built for the purpose of Airbnbs and stuff. Like as I've been wandering around, I've been looking at the Harcourts real estate and things like that and just seeing like how the, the house market here is just a little bit kind of backwards like you can pay out to four million bucks for like a five bed or four bed apartment and then like a block of land with a decent amount of size for like two hundred thousand because no one wants to put in the effort to actually build a house here they'd rather just like buy a house and then list it on airbnb straight away without having to work on it like kind of crazy also i feel like i'm heading out of town so i'm going to turn around and go this way see what i find crop on that kind of cool that's the other weird thing here the liquor stores sell like pre-made shots haven't seen those in Australia they're a bit odd also the other thing I am quickly discovering about this place is it is a maze that's partly due to the roadworks, but I cannot tell left from right here. I feel like I'm right back where I was a minute ago. The other thing is this place loves mulled wine. I'll never understand that. Mulled wine is like cinnamon and you know other spices in wine that's then like heated up. I don't know, it's kinda odd. I don't really get it, doesn't taste very good. Doesn't taste very good at all. 
I'm not. In Queenstown, they just drive over roundabouts. I guess the theory is, why well, go around them when you can't go over them? So, a bit odd. Don't really understand it. Also, just want to go back to this photo. Feel like it would have been better with a longer lens on it. it would have been kind of epic. Just because, like, you know, the yellow jacket and sticking out like that. There also weren't enough cars moving because traffic was kind of still good. Could have been epic. Could have been something. Alright. So, just going to explain what happened. Essentially, um, was walking along doing my street photography. And then, uh, the folks messaged me and said, Okay, we're, we're grabbing, uh, pizza and beer. Do you want to join? And I was like, okay. And so now it's dark. So, um, that's a lot of time gone, but we're going to continue the photo walk. So we might not spend too much more time around town, but we'll see. But then I also want to do some long exposures of the mountains that are across here that you can't really see right now, but let's go. see my own breath which is not something I'm used to in Adelaide nevertheless still an epic city probably my favorite that I've ever been to it's just nicely nestled in the mountains makes for spectacular views during the day although unfortunately during winter lots of cloud cover by the thing seem but sorry lots of cloud cover by the uh, by the looks of things because haven't really had too many perfectly clear days. But on the first day we were here, which was about a week ago, it's amazing views. Amazing, amazing views. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Little coffee and churros car. Pretty epic, but it is freezing cold. Go for a little walk out to the pier and see what we can look back on. That's pretty epic. Hang on. I want to try and frame this. So you got the gondola, the gondola right up the top. It's just such a colourful city. And I guess the hope is maybe one of these. Hope is that one of those turns out good. They're looking pretty epic. You got the gondola and like restaurant up at the top there. Hydro attack. Oh, these guys are like the boats. Epic. The sea breaches, that's what they're called. 
you got the city there, you've got the gondola up the top there, you've got, well, you can't really see right now because there's a bright light, but all across there is the Remarkables, and then you've got another mountain set over there. I think they're just skydiving over there, and you've got Coronet Peak way back that way. There's just so much to do here, and like, yeah, it's just an absolutely epic, epic, epic city. I kind of want to set up the tripod here and do some long exposures and see what I can get my hands on. So, um, yeah, let's do that. All right, so hang on. Let me kind of angle this down. So we've got the tripod set up here. Let's go 600 roll back to like F4. And then I actually can drop it down to like 640, 800. Okay, and let's chuck it on a timer. And let's move this the tiniest bit. And now we wait. This is probably like really boring for all of you watching. So I appreciate it if you're still sticking around because this was meant to be street photography, but then I kind of fell in love with these mountains. And so I'm trying to get the best long exposures that I can. I took a couple yesterday actually, which I'll chuck on screen now because um, they were incredible. Absolutely loved them. I'll also show you some photos now of what I took on my iPhone during the day because I didn't have my camera with me during then, but like, look at that. That's pretty incredible for a nighttime shot. Clouds moving, sky looks amazing. Yeah, that, that is just beautiful. And I'm gonna pan the camera up now to sort of more of what I'm seeing. I'll leave that one to go. We'll stand back and just kind of let it do its thing. I really need to invest in a new tripod. This one nearly just broke on me actually. Couldn't unclip the legs, which would not be not be a good thing at all, but um, also now's a better time than any. Um, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate it. I am trying to grow as a channel um, and I really enjoy creating these videos for you guys. Sorry if I can't be as frequent as I'd like to. Um, being a university student does have its downsides, but obviously, um, yeah, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit uh, the subscribe button. All right, let's have a look. You can see the boats. Hang on. Let me angle this down again so you guys can see. See the boats over there. Pretty incredible. This town is really good for families and stuff. Loads and loads of families here, obviously. Mainly because of the skiing, but like... Yeah, there's just so much to do. Because aside from skiing, you've got shot over jet. You got those shark things that I was talking about before, the uh, sea breaches. You can go skydiving, you can go paragliding, you can ride the luge, you can go down the gondola, gondola, gondola. And that was that thing before in that photo that I was talking about, hang on. Uh, this photo here, this thing at the top, you can go up that. So obviously great for families in that, that respect. Now I kind of want a photo of the pub here. Hang on. Got the Kiwi flag at the top that I missed. That's kind of cool. It's a neat looking building. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Absolutely freezing. Compared to Adelaide, that is. I'm not used to the cold. It's only like three degrees, which for a lot of people they'll say, oh, that's warm, but Oh, for an Adelaide boy who's used to like 18 degrees in winter, this is freezing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly enjoyed uh, taking photos around Queenstown and some of them turned out amazingly well, which was really good. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Um, I'm not sure whether it will be a photo walk or a travel days just yet, but um, I've got several in the works at the moment, so um, I look forward to putting them out and releasing them to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, in the meantime, uh, safe travels, uh, stay well, stay safe, and um, I'll see you in the next one.